Hey guys, welcome to another WizKids pre-release miniatures, uh, unpainted miniatures unboxing. So today I've got some stuff from the upcoming Wave 5. And uh, also, make sure to stick around uh, for the end. I've got a couple uh, really cool things from Wave 6 that, uh, as far as I know, haven't been seen yet by most people. So we'll start this off with... From the Nolzer's Marvelous Mansions line, we have a couple new Ballista. So check them out. Got a cool little uh, skull on the front there. Big arrow. Pretty standard design. Here's a. Uh, one of the merchant, human merchant uh, WizKids figures to show the scale. If I can get zoomed in on the detail a little bit. Nice wood grain in there with the metal banding. So two of them looks like they're both the same and they do have a, a one inch base included as well. So there's that. Next, we've got the Fire Genasi Wizards, also from the Nolzers line. So here we have a female with a, uh, I believe this is a like a wizard eye spell, which comes in two pieces. There's a little uh, lens piece right there that fits on that. I'm going to leave that in there because I don't want to lose it. But uh, totally optional if you didn't want this spell effect on there. But she's got a staff and a little fireball and flaming hair. And then the second pose like she's shooting some uh, could be magic missiles or uh, burning hands probably burning hands I guess very nice all right and then we have the water genasi druid First one's got like a, it's like a wall of, a wall of ice spell and a pretty cool little staff. And the second guy, same staff, he looks a little older than this one, a little more experienced. And then he comes with a giant ice wave or, or water wave, which I'm not sure how that's supposed to work. Maybe it attaches to the, ah, okay. Oh yeah, cool. This one appears to attach to the back of his base. Like that. Only on this guy. So yeah, he's got this cool wave coming up behind him. Very cool. Never seen one like that. Alright, moving right along. Next up we'll do... From the Pathfinder Battles line, we've got Medium Earth Elementals. So yeah, this is a pretty cool sculpt. I think they're both the same. Yep. And uh, it has some 
transparent pieces that could be used for like gemstones or something that are stuck in them. Paint them different colors like diamonds or rubies. And uh, also looks like it has some gem shaped formations coming out of the base. Nice cracked earth. He's got a big rock he's going to throw. And these come with a one inch base which mostly will get covered up. Probably not necessary really. Cool. And then we've got the fire elementals. So these are completely transparent. So you can paint them with the, uh, and use them if, if you wanted to put a light under them in the base, like a little uh, tea light LED. You could use your uh, transparent paints and uh, it would glow pretty well. I might try to do that in a future video. So yeah, probably hard to see the too much detail on these since they're clear, but they look pretty cool. Look a little more uh, humanoid than uh, typical fire elementals, so that's cool. Next up, we've got the air elemental. Also transparent, faceless. Should I show you guys uh, this guy for scale? So he's a, a little bit bigger than a human. The uh, earth elementals look much bigger. And the fire, a little bit bigger as well. But they're all medium size. So yeah, this would be an inter interesting one to uh, paint. Probably be a very simple paint job. Maybe even just a little dry brushing with some blues and whites, grays maybe. So that'll be a fun one to play around with. And the last of the elementals, we have the water elemental. Once again, just slightly bigger than a human. This one's pretty cool. He's almost looks like a swamp thingish from the from what I can see. Like he's got kind of a swamp a swamp thing from the old movie kind of face. And uh, yep, yeah. pretty cool. It's good to see. Uh, different styles of the elementals, not the same old stuff we always see. Alright, next up we've got Flesh Golems from the Nulzers line. And these two are different. Yeah, typical uh, Frankensteinian looking, Frankenstein's monster looking. You got, uh, you can see some stitches in there where they've sewn different limbs on and such. And uh, just a loincloth. Standard human size. Those will be fun to paint up and probably fairly quick too. Cool. All right, this is one I've been uh, very excited about. We've got the gray and death slods. And uh, I'm not sure which is which. I'd have to look at the monster manual probably, but... <laughs> 
Mm, this one looks a little meaner, so he might be the dust uh, Yeah, very cool, very spiky. I really like the kind of a grin this one has. Very cool. Scale wise, about medium sized. Awesome. Look forward to painting these. All right, and now that's the end of the Wave 5 stuff I had. Here we have the Wave 6. And I'm very excited to bring these to you. But here is the first one. WizKids now making huge sized minis. So we've got the T-Rex. Let me back this out a little. So he's on a three inch base. There's the uh, back of the art. So yeah, nice three inch base. Looks like it's two pieces. And yeah, he's a big boy. Very cool, uh, nice detail on all the scales. Teeth look nice. Don't see a lot of uh, mold lines either. One little one there. So yeah, not too much cleanup. You probably. Uh, Trim this down a little bit and get the tail to fit a little bit nicer. But if it's nice and tight, just a little bit of a gap. So that's easy to fill. But yeah, very cool. This might be the next thing I paint. So yeah, great to see uh, some big stuff from WizKids in the unpainted line. And last, but certainly not least, the Frost Giant. And this guy is huge. So once again, it comes with a three inch base and two pieces. Let's see, I'm smart enough to figure out how to put them on. There we go. And that fits really well. Like you wouldn't even have to fill that gap. It fits nice and tight. And uh, since it kind of goes in under the shoulder pad, you wouldn't even need to mess with it. Just glue it in. But uh, wow, check him out. He's got a huge, Almost looks like a white dragon uh, skull for his helmet. Two axes covered with runes. Lots of fur. Got a big open mouth like he's screaming and running into battle. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely like this. And just to show you, I mean, here's a... Here's a regular human for scale. So this guy is totally giant. And also, just to show you, I've got, uh, this is from the, I forget which set, but this is a pretty recent uh, Frost Giant 2017 uh, from WizKids. So height-wise, they're about the same, but this guy is just bulky compared to him <laughs> and then just for fun I've got the Reaper Frost Giant and this is the large you know they reissued the Giants uh, this is from Bones 3 I believe and uh, they used to be smaller and they resized them so this is the bigger one and he's still you know way shorter than this guy 
So can't wait to do him. He's going to be great. But that is all I have for today. Uh, probably going to be having another unboxing from WizKids. Hopefully next week. And uh, definitely uh, going to be doing some more painting tutorials very soon. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Might start this guy. Might start with the Transaurus. Or maybe the Slod. Or maybe even the Flesh Columns. I don't know. Why don't you guys uh, leave a comment uh, below uh, which one you want to see me paint next. And uh, I will consider your entries. Alright, thanks guys. See you next time.